Hello there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going to be wrapping up unit 3 of AP Human Geography. Now remember this might be the last topic review video but it's not the end of the unit 3 video. There still is the unit 3 summary video which covers everything you need to know from unit 3. But before we get ahead of ourselves let's finish wrapping up all the topics for unit 3. When diffusion occurs we see different governments, ideas, religions, cultures, and people interact. Now, these different interactions between different people, traits, and cultures often lead to shifts in a society. From the local scale all the way up to the global scale. When different cultures and people come into contact with one another, we often see a couple of things happen. The first is assimilation, which Britannica defines as the process whereby individuals or groups of differing ethnic heritage are absorbed into the dominant culture of a society. The process of assimilating involves taking on traits of the dominant culture to such a degree that the assimilating group becomes socially indistinguishable from other members of the society. Essentially, the minority culture takes on the dominant culture they are joining and ends up losing their original culture. This can happen voluntarily or is sometimes forced. For example, in the United States, boarding schools were once set up to assimilate Native Americans into the American culture. Kids would go to school and not be allowed to speak their own language or wear their traditional clothes. The goal was to assimilate the children into the American lifestyle. When diffusion happens, it does not always result in a culture losing their culture and adopting another one. Instead of a assimilation occurring, we may see acculturation occur. This is when a culture adopts certain cultural traits of another culture. And unlike assimilation, acculturation does not result in the loss of the original culture. Instead, the culture is simply modified. For example, many people around the world now wear jeans and modern clothes, but still eat their traditional food and practice their cultural tradition. Another thing that we can observe happen when diffusion occurs is syncretism. This is when two or more cultures evolve or change over time in a similar manner, but remain culturally culturally distinct. For example, we could look at Sikhism, which started in India and consisted of different elements of both Hinduism and Islam. Over time, Sikhism developed into its own religion. This is an example of syncretism because the two cultures, in this case Hinduism and Islam, were blended together to form the Sikh religion. Over time, they evolved in a similar manner but remained culturally distinct. Hinduism and Islam remained true to their fundamental belief systems, but we now have the Sikh religion, which has its own belief systems that has aspects of both faiths. Shifting gears a little, we can also look at multiculturalism. This is when a society has a large diversity of cultures that coexist within the society. This often happens due to immigration. Here, the societal fabric of society becomes made up of different cultural and ethnic groups. Today, we could look at the United States and Canada as examples of countries that have multiculturalism. Lastly, we also have to acknowledge that whenever diffusion happens and a new culture or trait is introduced into a society, there's a chance that the society society will push back or reject the culture or trait. This is known as cultural resistance. This can happen for a variety of different reasons. For example, individuals in a society may fear losing their way of life. Individuals also may have developed negative stereotypes or prejudice against the incoming culture or trait. Or they may not just understand the culture or trait. At the end of the day, we can see that the diffusion of different religions, languages, ideas, beliefs, and goods and services all impact the cultural landscape and the cultural breakdown of a geographic location. As the world continues to become even more connected, it's no longer a matter of if we will interact with different cultures around the world, but now it's a matter of when. All right, now comes the time to practice what we've learned. Once you're done checking your answers down below, don't forget to check out my ultimate review packet and watch the Unit 3 summary video. The Ultimate Review Packet has practice quizzes, study guides, review videos, answer keys, and much more. It's a great resource that can help you get an A in your class and a 5 on your national exam. As always, I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you next time online.